Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It's Cheese and Trees here, and welcome to Chapter 2, Episode 2 of 100% and Grounded in 2024, Womode Edition. This episode is pretty long and so jam-packed with content that I definitely could have made two episodes out of it, but I decided to smash it all into one, and I don't want to keep you guys waiting any longer, so without further ado, enjoy the video. Previously on 100% and Grounded in 2024. I'm sizzling. Sizzle on the sand. Sizzle on the sand. Lab outpost. But I found though, sandbox burgle chip. I feel like this is trying to tell me something. There's an X right there. Oh, this pieces them a lot faster. We got some good stuff down here. Oh my goodness. I found it. I found a treasure chest. I got a recipe. Salt Morning Star, let's go! Sturdy whetstone and salt shards. And we need an oven, it looks like. And now, for our featured presentation. Need four boiling glands, and I need ever charcoal chunks. I know how to get boiling glands, that's easy. You kill bombies. Uh, charcoal, I'm pretty sure I know how to get that. So, we're going on another adventure, it looks like. A quick adventure, quick adventure, but an adventure nonetheless. And I'm definitely going to need to put fresh defense on. Let's go. Oh, three of them. Ah! Got one. There we go. I got one boiling gland, right? Oh, I got two. Okay. Well, I just needed one, so that's what's up. Eh, yeah, might as well get this one, too. Hey, come here. Got him. Got another boiling gland, too. So I'm assuming the charcoal is right there. <laughs> Think I can make that jump? <coughs> well, it's not too bad. I'm not dying, dying. I wonder if I could keep that aphid as a pet. Ah, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. We gotta... We gotta hold our... <gasps> Get... Oh my god, there's another one right there, too. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh, man. I died of the poison. So this part was pretty funny. I died to the wolf spider and respawned at the nearest field station, but I forgot my tufts were left in my bag when I died, so I immediately fell to my death again. Then I tried to respawn at home because I knew my gear was about to break and needed to be repaired, but I forgot that I still had my spawn spot in the black ant lab, so I had to run all the way home, repair all my gear, and grab tufts before heading back to the charcoal to grab my stuff. Okay, that sure was an adventure, but we got it back. Get some charcoal, and hopefully not die to wolf spiders this time. Oh, what is that? Taking a look. It's a larva? Ladybird larva. Fresh and stabbing. This is a tier 3 weapon. That's the only reason I'm using it, because I know it's not stabbing or fresh. Tough gunk? Oh. Well, I might kill a bunch of these. So I can get the Salt Morning Star. Tough gunk. <laughs> go, 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 get out. Now the spider's not burned to death. Wait. Ooh. Oh. He's sleeping. Oh. There's two of them. 
wonder if those are the same two that got me. Well, that was good. I got a Mega Molar and some science. I collected a little bit more charcoal and killed a couple more ladybird larvae to try and get some more tough gunk. But while I was fighting those, I found another little critter that I'd never seen before. What is that? What is that? A scarab. Let's get the scarab. expect to see a little green beetle like you in the yard? Hey, come here. Yeah, you're trapped. Trapped! Let's go! Oh, I got me a scarab. I got twinkling shells, baby. I tried getting more tough gunk from the ladybird larvae, but I wasn't getting very much from them, so I decided to go home and make the oven. On my way home, I peeped a roly poly and found a cool little trinket that'll help me in the future. Insulating larva spike. That's cool. Oh, sizzle protection. Throw that on there for my sizzle build. You got that scarab. Scarab mount and stuffed scarab. Charcoal, canteen, everchar, torch, and burning rounds. That's pretty cool. Termite axe. Termite axe, huh? Let's make our oven. Because we need that. Woo! And now I need two salt globs. I should repair this sword. There we go. All right. We got our salt globs, baby. All right, guys. I never really showed you my house. I'm sure you've seen it throughout the episodes a little bit here and there. But I'm going to upgrade it right now. And it's going to take a really long time. Oh, well, okay, let's do this first. <laughs> the enemy's attacking. Yeah, that's such good timing, though, honestly. Black ants, let's go. There's a lot of them, my goodness. There's so many. See if this works any better. I think they're resistant to slashing. But it is tier three. Oh my gosh. I suck. Good thing my base is elevated. I don't think they can get to it. Goodness, man. They're everywhere. Well, they're not everywhere, but they're destroying me. Trying to destroy my stuff. I don't know where they're at. I did it because they can't get to my stuff. Lucky me. They're going away. They don't care about me anymore. That's why we're upgrading the base. So if we get flying insects coming after me, I'll actually hopefully be able to defend it. Alright, but like I said, here's a tour of where I've been living this whole time. I got my grass plank. And my stem, or my grass pallet, and my stem pallet right here. We got two jerky racks. We got two spinning wheels. I added these two chests recently because I was running out of space. I got a bunch of chests. I got my uh, workbench and my smithing station. I got my lean two, my dew collector, my smoothie station, my cookery. I just made this oven. And I got my roasting spit. And all around here, this bee needs to get out of here. Ah, uh, let's just get him. Anyway, and we don't have anything over here. We just have nice windows and a nice chill area over here. Now, I'm going to completely upgrade this base. And it's going to look completely different. And I will give you a tour when it's done.
Oh, and if anything cool happens, I'll definitely show you guys. Don't worry. But otherwise, I'm just going to get to building, get to work. All right, you guys ready for the tour? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before we get to that, I just promised you guys that I'd let you know if anything cool happened while I was building. So here's everything that happened. I ended up finding two milk molars and a mega molar. I found the aphid and firefly gold cards, and the firefly one was really cool because I found out my fourth firefly kill. I also ended up getting up to coziness level 4, which got me the hauling hero mutation 3 out of 3. I found the aerobic scabby on top of the lamp my base is built on. And then the last thing that happened was I killed a wolf spider that got stuck under my house. I tried getting him unstuck without killing him, but then I ended up dying to his poison, and it just ended up getting stuck in the same place. So I just ended up having to take care of it. But that was everything cool that happened that you missed, so here's the tour. All right, here's what we got. It looks a little different since the last time you guys saw it. So we got these uh, stem floors right here and these mushroom walls to make it a little more sturdy. Now I have three plank pallets and two stem pallets. Here's my first floor. We've got our little cooking station right here with our cookery, our roasting spit, and our smoothie station. We got our dew collectors back here. I've got three of them because you definitely need three in woe Don't mode. Need to boil it. Got my two jerky racks right here and my bed right here. Oh yeah, I crafted a bed rather than a lean-to, so now I actually have a bed. Woohoo! Second story. I got four spinning wheels right here. I've got up to three ovens now. I got my grinder, so this is like a little crafting floor right here with my smithing station and my workbench. If I need anything else for my crafting floor, I can fit it over here pretty easily. Third story is my loot floor. I'm still working on the organization of these chests, but I got my chests a lot more organized and I've got a lot more of them. We'll go up here. This is our armory. So all our weapons and armor will be up here. I got my tier one armors right here, my ant armor. Remember we got some weapons on our weapon wall. So we got the rotten stinger spear and the pebblet dagger. We got our rotten ant club. We got these dummies, all these dummies for any tier three armor sets we got. We got more weapon mounts so we can fill this room up pretty nicely weapon mounts all over here so this one's going to be nice and full now we got some stuffed bugs i'm still working on some of these but i got a bunch of stuffed bugs right here and then got some more stuffed bugs up here some bigger ones some more intimidating ones and then we got our garden with a couple of chests and we've got 20 planters here so we can make a bunch of muscle sprouts and have a bunch of healing whenever we need it that's the goal because we're gonna need it really badly <laughs> so we have a little door right here to a little stairwell it also comes down to here so whether i'm down on this floor or up near the top story I can come out. Oh, hey, Mr. B. But anyway, continuing on to this stairwell that I was talking about right here. So if we go up and up and up and we just keep going up all the way. Now, I was going to build up a little bit higher, but at one point when I was getting a little higher, I noticed that the tree just stops it doesn't exist anymore up there. You just go through it. So I built a little platform down here to just check out the tree. Wherever the tree stops, you can go run around and do whatever you want down here. I don't know if I'll, I could make stuffed bugs down here. I could do whatever I want down here. So if you got any suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. Alrighty. And then up here, we got a little zipline tower. I haven't connected anything yet. But I have these zipline anchors, and you go through the tree up here, like I was saying. 
And you have these little zipline anchors, and oh my gosh, the tree's right there. Nope, you go through it. And zipline anchors. So this is a cool little zipline floor. I can go anywhere I want across the map once I start connecting ziplines. But wait, there's more! You might be thinking, well, this might be a hard base to defend if you get some, like, flying bugs coming after you, like some mosquitoes or bees or something. Well, not to worry. I thought of that, too. So, we have these little turret stations down here with little turret ammos in them. I want to get a lot more ammo for these chests, so I'm going to have to get more resources, but I have these little turret stations all around my base where I can just hop in the turrets. Unfortunately, they're not automatic turrets. I actually have to man them, but I can just hop in the turrets and whatever angle the bug is that I need, I can just get them from any angle. There's honestly one little corner, this top little corner up here that I'm not able to reach, so I might need one more turret station somewhere, but other than that, the base is pretty much complete. All right, let's plant some muscle sprouts before we do anything. All righty, let's go on our adventure. Definitely feel a little rusty. I haven't been fighting a lot. I've been building most of the time lately. So we're going to start off going to the Minotaur Maze and trying to figure out what's going on there. And maybe we can uh, not be as rusty. <laughs> Get our skills back in the process. I do also, though, want to get some tough gunk so I can make that salt morning star. Alright, bees, you're not going to get me this time. Why are they not getting stunned? That's what I was going to know. There, he got stunned. Jeez. Am I getting wrecked by bees? This is why I said I wanted practice. There he is. Let's go. Okay. Well, I did need bee fuzz for those stuffed bugs, so that's good. And it was good practice. <laughs> Alright, we made it to the maze. There's bees Beware. in here. A bee. Okay. Don't come this way. Alright, Minotaur Maze Key. There's definitely a burgle chip in there. Did this gum go? There it is. Found it. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's go. You know, if I get this clay, I can make a zipline anchor here too. But I don't have silk rope, so I'll have to go back and get that. But next time I come over here, I'll be able to make the zipline anchor. I don't know if I do it right here. If I do it up there. Probably up there. Yeah, right here. But I just need one more weed stem and silk rope to build that zip line, and I can zip line over here. Let's go. All right, let's keep looking for that maze key, though. I thought he was sleeping. I didn't think I'd wake him up. That's all right. I need his bee fuzz anyway. Come here. And the bee gold card, baby. I needed that too. Let's go. Maze key. Black ant working away here. Black ant working away here, but where's the maze key? It's gotta be somewhere. This is a death wish. Mm. 
Alright, maybe it's down here. Who knows? Hey, a milk molar bottle. With a milk molar in it. Let's go. Hey, some raw science. I'm holding raw science in my hands. What does it even mean? I spent the entire night searching the area around the picnic table for the maze key, fighting any creatures I thought could possibly be guarding it. Fighting all those orb weavers paid off too, because I ended up getting the orb weaver gold card. After searching a good portion of the area around the picnic table, I finally ended up in the right spot. Go down there, it looks like. Hold on, let me get this. Let me see what's on this side. It stops over here. Okay, I don't want to get lost. I'm kind of scared. Okay, the slime molds are the way back. Wait. <laughs> I found it. I can't get to it, though. No! Uh, level 2 sword. Have a level 2 sword. The black ant sword. No. Wait, you can't use swords underwater? Where is it? Oh my god, there it is. Level 2 dagger, I'm assuming. No, I need a level 2 dagger. I only have a peblet dagger. But I found it! I found it! Finally! <laughs> Finally! Now that I knew how to get the Minotaur Maze Key, I headed home to craft a Spider Fang dagger. I just needed to kill one more wolf spider to have enough resources for it, but as you know, two is always better than one. My first attempt at fighting them didn't quite go as planned. I missed a couple of blocks and the poison started to destroy me. After that attempt, I decided to make some smoothies so I wouldn't be struggling as much against the tougher enemies. All right, round two on the wolf spider. This time it's a little easier. That last fight was way harder. Just destroyed him. Like that. I didn't even get hit once. Alright, that makes me want to fight the other one. So I can get all those upgrade rocks and stuff. This sap would be nice too. Got him. That wasn't too bad. Oh, two for one, baby. All right. Spider Fang Dagger. Let's go. And now we can get the maze key. The Minanananananator maze key. All righty. Let's go. Got it. Minotaur maze key. Minotaur maze key. Minotaur maze key. Let's go. Right, grab this weed stem because I brought my silk rope. I was right. I only needed one weed stem. Woo! We made our zipline anchor. We'll hope that that's the right one. Ah, oh, I need 42. All right. Well, we don't have enough rope to finish our zipline, but we at least connected it. Now... Let's go get that maze, or let's go open that chest with the maze key. Be on the lookout. Come here, B. Oh, another one? There you go, got one. The heck is that B doing? All right, got two. Got three. Okay, now can I get my thing? All right. Hey, a scabby too, and a mega molar. I got all kinds of treasure from this one. There wasn't that kind of treasure in the other one. Got upgrade rocks. Ooh, let's go. Picnic burgle chip, baby. All right, burgle. It is nice to see. How can I help you today? Ah, more chips. Thank you. Picnic chip. Milk molar scanner, let's go. Ooh, mint maze! Let's go! We're gonna need that, baby! 
Let's go. Mint mace, baby. We got the flowers. We need some mint globs. And we need some tough gunk for that, too. We're going to need a lot of tough gunk. Holy moly. Now that I learned how to craft the mint mace, I wanted to head to the upper yard to collect some tough gunk. I needed a good amount because I needed some for the mint mace as well as the salt morning star. Before I started heading that way, I started cooking up some mint globs so they'd be ready by the time I got home. Okay, there's got to be a way up there other than jumping on the picnic table every time. Or jumping off the picnic table every time. Like, there's got to be a way to climb it. Here's raw science. Upper yard ascent. Well, that's got to be the way to climb it. There you go. Oh, come on. Oh. 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 You see that? After finding the way you're supposed to go to get to the upper yard, along with some raw science, some upgrade rocks, and a milk molar, I started fighting some ladybird larvae to get some tough gunk, but soon realized I wasn't getting very much. I knew there had to be a quicker way to get some. Oh gosh, I didn't get tough gunk from that one. There's got to be a quicker way to get tough gunk. Like, I'm getting, like, one per, like, three larvae that I kill. Taking so, a look. Mark that one off the list. A ladybird? I'm killing ladybird larvae. I think a ladybird would work, probably. Oh, oh, he's aggressive. She, I should say. It's a lady. My lady, I'm sorry, my lady. Well, I don't have anything that she's weak to, but at least, unlike the roly-poly, she's not resistant to my sword. All right, here, you know what? I'm scared, so I'm going to put a lean-to down right here. I'm scared I'm going to put down a lean-to. Oh, what the heck? That one just jumped out of the wall. I am not fighting two at once. That one literally just jumped out of that rock. Are you kidding me? Wow. Oh, goodness. Hey, at least it's dying, kinda. It attacks fast! Oh my goodness, let's go. A ladybird shell. And I got tough gunk, let's go. Okay, they're not too bad. They're definitely harder than ladybugs, but I can handle these guys. I'm getting tough gunk from them. More than the ladybird larva, that's for sure. Missed that one. Ooh, missed that one too. Two in a row. Ow. It's alright. Oh, no, it's not alright. Now it's all right. Ooh, four tough gunk. Let's go. Get this quartzite. Oh, another one. Ow. They're kind of fun to fight, I'm not going to lie. More marble. Ooh, that was close. I almost didn't block that one. My armor's about to break. Wow. Oh, my armor's about to break. I might have to go back and then 
Uh, come back for more. Ooh, it's a ladybird larva. Larva. Wait, I hear it. I don't see it. Oh, I see. Now there's two of them, of course. Got some tough gunk from that one. Let's go. Ow. Ow. This one. Oh, my gosh. That one was close. Oh, come here. That one was close. <laughs> I got 16 tough gunk. I really got to go back because my armor is about to break. I got to upgrade slash repair it. On my way home to upgrade my armor, I stopped by a field station and analyzed that ladybird shell. While I was upgrading my armor, I decided to go down the sleek path so my thirst wouldn't drain as quickly while I was wearing it. Since I was already home, I decided to finish connecting the zipline from my house to the picnic table. Then I collected all the silk rope that I had so I could try to connect a zipline from my house to the upper yard. While I was running on my way to connect that zipline, I gathered all the tough gunk that I could because I knew I would need it. Alright. I'm gonna craft this zipline, Inca. I need clay and weed stems. There's clay. Found it. Need one more weed stem. Alright. Oh my gosh. 19 is what it costs, and that's what I have. Well, I got a zip line home from the upper yard. Let's go. Oh no! <laughs> well, I'm gonna need to fix that. I'm gonna always need to have tufts on me <laughs> until I fix that. You know what I realized is we have enough tough gunk to get the mint mace. Woo -woo. Let's go. And the salt morning star, baby. Let's go. We got both. Let's go, baby. All right, we gotta upgrade the mint maze. We need five mighty globs to get it to level six. Ooh, I wanna get it to level six. Oh yeah, Salt Morning Star. Oh, let's go. We need more mighty gloves. Mighty gloves. We need more sturdy whetstone. Sturdy whetstone. All right. All right. Get our mighty gloves. And now we got our Salt Morning Star and our Mint Mace to level six. Let's go. Now we have an updated hot bar. We have our Salt Morning Star and our Mint Mace. All right, wish me luck. There we go. This thing destroys them. Just destroyed them. Now that I got my mint mace and my salt morning star, I wanted to head back to the charcoal because it seems like a very valuable resource. Not only used to upgrade my torch and canteen, but also used for turret ammo. While I was out collecting charcoal, I found a few useful things, but one of those things proved to be far more useful than the others. Easy. There we go. Let's go. Can I get in here? I'm sizzling right here. That's crazy. All right. How do we get in here? Right here. Let's get some charcoal, baby. Or a milk molar. Sizzling over there. Right here. Oh, what is 
that? A sword? Flaming sword? Difficulty hard, it says. Defend against ladybird larva. Am I gonna have to fight a bunch of ladybird larva to get the sword? That's awesome! Let's do it! Do I need to prepare for this? I need to prepare for this. Okay. This is woe mode. I'm definitely preparing. Now that I found the flaming sword in the charcoal bag, I went home so I could prepare to defend it. In addition to making a bunch of bandies and smoothies, I also made a quesadilla antlion and grabbed some mint shards to help me with some sizzle protection. Once I got everything I needed, it was time to go get the sword. Alright. My water's full. Eat my quesadilla antlion. I got fresh defense on. Sure do. Let's go. Alright, where are these larvas? The battle begins. Battle begins. Easy. Ow. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of them. Oof. I need to heal, I need to heal. Get away from the sword. I was hoping I'd get tough gunk from these, but it looks like you only get larva spikes. And I died! No! I hope all my things are still here. Wow. That was tough. Let's try again. I mean, let's just do it. If if it if we don't do it this time, I'll have to build around it, but let's try again. spawning everywhere. Okay, come on. No, no, no. They're on the sword. Oh, there's two. Let's go! I did it! And I got guard dog. Use something to drink. Hey, okay. Second time's the charm with me, it seems like. Spicy coltana. <laughs> Spicy gloves. Ever charcoal chunks, which I just got. And I need more tough gunk, of course. But not very much. Not very much tough gunk. So let's get that tough gunk and craft that. Hey, I got fresh and salty. I can take on the roly-polies now. Let's see if they got tough gunk for me. Woo. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And he did have tough gunk. And roly-poly stuff that I needed. Now that I got the recipe for the spicy coltana, I gathered the remainder of the tough gunk I needed and headed home to craft it. My weapons and armor were once again wearing down and needed to be repaired. The only problem with that was I had upgraded everything to level 6, which meant I needed repair glue to repair my gear. Something I hadn't discovered yet. When I got home, I figured out how to craft a glue masher and started mashing glue. But right when it started mashing, I started getting raided by larva. Kind of. We'll do two out of spider chunks and three out of bombardier parts, and we're getting raided by larva. Two arms! Two arms! All 
I don't really see any. They're having a hard time finding my base to get revenge. They can't find it. <laughs> okay. That was a, a tough one. 95 raw science for killing one larva. I'll take it. All right, well, that glue's mashing. Let's go analyze those roly-poly parts. Roly-poly breastplate and leg plates. And a roly-poly helmet. Let's go. All right, we got one repair glue. Let me use that one on my mint mace. Let's go. Got two bee fuzz for this. Let's go. Can't forget to make those spicy globs. All right, we have enough glue to repair our armor. Nice. All right, our spicy globs are done. Now we can make our spicy coltana. Bing! Boing, 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 boing. We gotta upgrade it. All right. We got five mighty globs to get it to level six. Let's go. Put that on our hot bar now. And now our weapons hotbar looks completely different than it did not too long ago, baby. It looks amazing. I love it. I think we can retire this uh, antlion greatsword for now. Alrighty, guys. That's finally going to be it for this episode. I ended up spending about 15 hours and 21 in-game days upgrading my base to get it to what it looks like now. So let me know what you think, or if you have any suggestions on how to improve it or anything like that. Right here, we've got some scenes from our next episode where I explore more of the upper yard, find new enemies to fight, and gather materials to craft some better tools that I'll need in the future. Don't forget to slap that like button if you enjoy the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.